it's Monday and I've declared it pajama day. There's a lot to do today, which means we need to get our head on straight. So let's pull an angel card. So we're inspired to be better than we were yesterday. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Our angel card fell out of the bowl and is openness. It means to let go of predetermined outcomes and guarded responses. Move with receptivity and readiness to change. Here's the thing, as a little kid, you are going through first time experiences. And they may be small experiences like the first time you drop something on the ground, or the first time you see a cactus, or the first time you're running late, or the first time you see a train. You know, everything is a first. And depending on the humans that you're with or not with, you're going to get a response from those people, an energetic response. And that energetic response is going to follow you for the rest of your life until you're able to address it and move on from it if it's unhealthy or address it, appreciate it, and then figure out some different type of response. But as older people, we tend to get so set in our, our responses when certain situations come upon us that we don't even, we're not open to what the situation could bring us because we're so stuck in those first responses from years and years and years and years and years ago. And that makes it hard for change. It makes it hard for adventure. It makes it hard for growth. And that's not what we're here for. We're here for all of those things. We're not here to be stagnant. We're not here to be following in rotten footsteps. We're not here to be using bad habits to get through life. We're smarter than that. We know better than that. The way to be open is to remind yourself every single freaking day that you're open and ready for change. You're ready for whatever the universe has for you that is in your best interest. If you're stuck in your old ways, how can you possibly see the signs that are in front of you? Like, oh, maybe I should take this path. Maybe I should answer this phone call. Maybe I should. I hate the word should, but still it's used. Um, maybe I should try this new hobby. I don't know. Maybe you should. What's keeping you from it? If you, don't, if you can't pinpoint exactly what's keeping you from it, address it. Forgive yourself, forgive the people you were with for having that trauma response or having that response at all. Move on, be ready for whatever is out there for you. You gotta keep your, your eyes open, all three of them. Really four. You gotta keep them all open. The universe is magical. The universe is always right. I know things are hard. I know things are not great, but you know what? It's all up here too. There are times we go through the depths of despair and the only person, the only thing that's gonna bring you out of it is you. So you've got to build up your courage. You've got to work on your mindset. You've got to build that love for yourself and go after it. Stop thinking about things. Just go after it. That is our job. I know I'm saying it to me too. I'm gonna go after it. Don't think, just do. <laughs> Be ready. Be ready for it. Last, before I go, before I sign off and send you off on this Monday, remember to say, say it out loud, say it to the universe, everything works out for me. Say it one time, say it five times, say it 10 times. Do whatever makes you feel good. Just say it, tell the universe, everything works out for me. And then go about your day. I love you.